Hello everybody, Artist and Loom here once again. Now that I'm back, I've missed looming a little bit and I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you a new design. This is her very first design. This is by Craze Mama and um, it's called The Lady in Red and it is her first original design. Now technically I should use red in this but I'm not going to because I don't think we have a really good red. Rainbow Loom hasn't come out with a really really good red so I'm going to just do something totally different even though the name is called Lady in Red. That's the beauty of looming. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. Um, with these beads right here she's got a bead in the center that has two holes on either side uh, on either side of the bead so she uses two bands. I've got one similar that I'm going to use and it looks like this. Now you don't have to use one that requires two bands. You can use one that's just one band whatever you want but I'm going to show you with the two. Does not really matter. So what I'm going to do is get my loom set up. No I've got it set up. I'm going to show you what we've got here. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while. Okay, what we're going to do is two full loom lengths long, and we are going to set the loom up with the first three pegs in the center, straight going straight across, and then drop down one on either side where the border is, and that's going to be two full loom lengths long. Okay, I'm going to choose to use three colors in mine. She used three in hers. Well, she actually used four, but I'm I'm just using three. I'm going to use my um, yin yang. Now look, you know how they did it away with the black cylindric, my favorite bands? Well look, you can still get the Ellie yin, yin and yang bands and they're actually white and the um, jet black cylindric so I don't mind sorting two colors like that if I can get my jet black I'm all over it but anyhow that's another way to get them if you've missed them so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this go ahead and get your beads um, bead it up for the center and also we're gonna do every other band is gonna be a bead on the border so I'm gonna choose to do this bead and this bead okay so meet me back here okay so we are going to start off with what I'm going to use on my border is the jet black cylindric which is also the ones that are in the yin and yang okay and what we're going to do is start in the center here and we're going to go out towards the left and then go out towards the left again okay and then we're going to do go out towards the right, out towards the right, and then we're going to start with our beaded bands. So I'm going to do this beaded band first, okay, I'm going to do a beaded band, and then a plain band, and then I'm going to switch over to this beaded band, which is a 6-0 seed bead, okay, and then a plain band. And then you're going to just copy this again. So a bead, my silver bead, or my silver bead, plain band, green bead, plaid band, and then silver, and then just follow the same pattern going all the way up. We'll do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to use my silver bead. It's a spacer bead, plain band, um, my green bead plain band okay and do that all the way to the top until you come to a point okay and I'll be right okay, back so I finished it and then I came up to here and I stopped the second pin bar from the top and I went in twice to the center did the same over here okay so now I'm choosing to use metallic silver as my next color that's going to go right in here okay and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up one here and then we're gonna zigzag so on the second uh, pin bar right here second peg up we're gonna go up one and then we're gonna go 
diagonally to the left and just do a zigzag the rest of the way up the loom. Super, super easy, okay? And that's what we're gonna do on this side. This side, same thing on the one, two, three, fourth pin bar, we're gonna go up and then we're gonna go diagonally down to the right, up, down, up or whatever <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right you're just gonna go diagonally okay zigzag the entire way up the loom okay I've done the zigzags all the way up now when you get to the very top of the loom and your last zigzag goes this way you're gonna bring one band up on either side okay now we're going to place the beaded bands okay mine happen to have two bands I guess you can do it without the two bands um, let me go ahead and show you what it's like for the two bands though so we're gonna start where are we gonna start okay I believe we're gonna start right here I think we're gonna start right here. I'm trying to see on her flipogram what she's got going. Okay, yeah, so second pin bar, one uh, peg up from where you've started. So second pin bar, one, two, third pin bar up is where the first half of this band is gonna go, which is gonna go right here. And the second one, is gonna go right there okay I'm gonna get my hook real quick okay I've got my hook so I put one side because of the way this is shaped you know if I did it like this then I could put these over these two pegs but since mine are shaped like to, to be able to I mean I guess I could make them go like this but I would rather make them go across way like this so I'm gonna lay it like this and put this part of this band here this part here and vice versa on that side. But since this has a rhinestone, I gotta make sure I have it flipped over because the top side is the bottom, okay? So I did, I put that on there, and then I'm gonna use my hook because it's easier to just handle. At least I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna take this side, pull it over here, and this side, and pull it over there. Okay, so that's what I'm going for right there just because of the shape of the band now if you choose to okay let me do the second one and then we'll we'll go from there so we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna start right here and I imagine you don't have to have so many of these in the center you know you probably could space them out differently so if you didn't have as many beads but um, actually no maybe there is a rhyme or reason to this scratch that okay so anyhow since we've got both these bands spanned here we're going to go up to the next one which is right here and we're going to do the same thing i'm going to do one here do one on this side and i'm going to take this side and scooch it over oh no i did that wrong i just told you i wasn't going to do that holy but jolly i want it to go this way not this way i'm going to put one here and one here and I'm going to take this side pull it over here and then pull this side over there boy I'm out of it I'm really out of it because I haven't loomed in a long time so now we have this one this one and then we'll do another one so we're gonna do this is where it ended we're gonna go up to the next one and that's where your band will go I think okay like that and then I'm just going to take both of these sides put it right here and place this one on this side okay so that's going to be your pattern going all the way down the loom if you are choosing not I'm wondering if you're 
if you're choosing not to use these with the two beads, if you could just uh, place a bead and span it across these two, that might be what you need to do um, to use just the bead with one band. You know how one band would, would come out of each side? Maybe you could, um, let me just see. I'm trying to decide, because there's a kind of a pattern in the center, so that's why I'm not sure if it matters where this exactly is located. And I think it kind of does. So let me real quick check that out, and then I will be able to tell you for sure. Let me just real quick. Um, okay. I don't know that it matters. Because we're going to be doing starburst, but I thought maybe the starburst... Well, the starburst will be right in here. Anyhow... In my opinion, what you would do if you had just one single bead, like this black bead, you see how there's just a black bead? If you have a your band coming across here, I would put it the bead in the center here, and I would span this side, put it here and, and over these two pegs, and do the same on this side. That's just what I would do. Um, so you just need to make sure you have a good stretchy band. With this one, you're using two, so therefore you don't have to stretch so much. So, Okay, so I'm going to finish doing that all the way up to the end of the loom. You go ahead and do yours too. Okay, so this is what it looks like all the way up to the end. And we're going to stop here. Third peg. Well, right here. And there'll be one, two, three to the end. Okay. All right. It'll look the exact same on the end as it does at the beginning. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over and use, uh, I'm going to do a single chain up the center and it's going to be done in my um, lovely black sweets because those are my faves. Okay, so all we're going to do is just a straight up single chain going up. Very simple. So go ahead and complete that and meet me back here. Okay, single chain is now officially done. Now we're going to work on starbursts. And um, this isn't going to be done the exact same way, but let me just show you. We're going to start in a different spot. Okay, so on this, from the center on the third pin bar up right here, normally we would go to, you know, out towards the two o'clock position and go uh, clockwise. We're going to go. Um, counterclockwise. Well, we're going to go this way. Just watch me. I don't know. Okay, so right here from the center here, third peg up, we're going to go diagonally down to the left. Okay. And then we're going to go straight across. Push your bands down. And then we're going to go diagonally to the upper left. Okay. And then we are going Yeah, so then we're going to go diagonally to the right, straight over, and diagonally down to the lower right. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. So I guess you could say it's it's going to start on this pin, and you're going to go do these three, and then bring it over here and do these three. Okay, I'll do one more just to show you. Okay, so then we're going to go up to, let's see, this. So everything met in the center here, we're going to skip to up, and we're going to go diagonal. And so basically it's going to connect where all where your starburst is here, it's going to connect. So we're going to go down to the lower right, over, and then, or left, excuse me, and then the upper left. And then we're going to go diagonally to the upper right, push your bands down, straight over, and diagonally downward to the right, where it all connects together. Okay? So that's that. So then the next one you're going to skip to, and you'll start the process over again. Diagonally, because this is where it connects, over, diagonally, diagonally, over, diagonally. Okay? And I'm going to let you finish that up. Okay, now go ahead and put your triple cat bands in the center of each starburst. 
I do it triple so it's nice and tight and finish oops that's too thin finish that all the way up the loom okay I already finished the rest of them these I was just showing you how to do these okay now what we're gonna do is pick another color this color really won't be showing so um, that much so I don't think you'll need to you know um, use any I don't know I'd say high quality bands I guess but since this is what I have sitting out the yin and the yang I'm going to use the white I'm hoping that it's not going to be super tight okay so this is going to be can be a little confusing we're going to make triangles and we're going to alternate how they lay so your first one is going to start here and you're going to make a triangle Another reason why I was using round bands is so I didn't have to constantly untwist these bands that are going to be up underneath. So you've got a triangle that's going to lay like that, okay? And then you're going to start from here and you're going to lay a triangle going up this way, okay? And then you're going to do one that goes like that again, okay? and then like this and you're just going to alternate all the way up the loom so then this one would go up and down and this one will connect there and go like that okay it's to where you're going to have a line on each side okay now we're going to do it on this side as well so we're going to start off right here and we're going to go like so and then we're going to start here and bring it up and cross it over let them like that diagonally so the other one will go right here and then this one the next one will be um, oops up like so and then this one will go like that and then ooh, let's see how we do this like so okay so you're gonna do that all the way to the end of the loom okay so now I'm finished this is what your loom should look like just like so all the way down now we are going to turn, let's see, turn the loom around. I'm going to need a cat band to go right there. And I'm in the cat band I'm going to use will be my um, Black Sweets triple cat band right there. And basically what we're going to do is, let's see, go up to... I think we're going to go up three, so we're going to start looming now. Let me move all this stuff out of my way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to go up one, two, and we're going to go up the third one. So we're going to go up three. Okay, just like so. Let's see, make sure that we're doing this right. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to hmm, trying to figure out what she's got going here. So give me one minute. Okay, so. In her flippogram, since this is her first one, she didn't quite show me this step exactly. So we're missing two bands that need to go out from this uh, center pin out. And so basically it need, they need to be up underneath the single chain and underneath the white bands. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to lift this single chain off. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just put a band going here. In the center I'm gonna go up underneath this white band 
grab it with my hook, bring it up and over onto the pin, okay? And then I'm gonna put another band under there, do the same with this side, go up underneath those white bands, grab that band and put it back on, okay? Then we need to put the single chain back on. So that way and that way. That should work a whole lot better. Okay, now at this point we need the um, a triple cap band there in the center. And we're ready to loom it up. Okay, so we're going to go in from the center. And you're going to go up three times. Okay. And then we're going to go back into here and loom out your bands that go to the left and go to the right. Yay, I did that right. Okay. And the next step is we are going to grab, what are we going to do? We're going to do loop out our... Um, starburst so we got to go in through it there's a cat band underneath here so make sure you're getting through the cat band okay get the band that's on top which is going to be the first band will be the one going to the upper left and then the next one you go back in grab the next one on top which is going to be well why can i not grasp this band i'm going to go out to the left Go back in, grab the next one. It's going to go downward to the left. Back in, then grab the next band that's on top. Diagonally to the right. Straight over. Diagonally to the upper right. And then we're going to go up. Twice. Okay. Actually, we're not going to go up twice. We're not going to go up twice. We're going to put these back. I see now what we've done, what she's got going. I guess it doesn't matter. She's going to loop up the single chains chains separately so we're just going to leave that just as is okay i know that was confusing she's wanting to loop up after we do the starburst then loop up the single chain so at this point we're going to leave the one that goes forward and the one that goes to the center of the starburst and we're just going to loop out our starburst so upper left over Downward to the left, downward to the right, over to the right, upward to the right. Now leave our single chain, just go straight up and only do the starbursts, okay? And leave that single chain that's going up there, okay? So go ahead and finish that all the way up the loom, okay? So now loom the center chain only going up. We've already done these two or these three. Now this is where it picks up again. Just make sure however you do it, because I think I may have looped this one up here when I wasn't supposed to, but it's okay because it's going to catch anyhow. So it would have been only for these first two. So make sure that everything's looped in the center. So just keep going until you know for a fact that everything is centered, is looped going straight up the loop. Okay, so naturally, normally, well, I'll say normally, not naturally. Normally, you would do the next bands around top, which are these, these triangles on the side that are in white. But in this case, we're going to do the bands that are up underneath it, which are the zigzags that I did in the metallic white, or metallic silver. And so we're going to not do the white triangles. We're going to do the zigzags. So we're going to go into the second pin bar, uh, third peg up, and we're going to grab the band that goes out. Oh, that goes straight 
up and down because that this one band will go straight up and down and bring it down. Then you're going to go back into this peg and grab the next band and bring it back to itself. Go back in, grab the one that goes back to itself. Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to work on the second peg or pin bar and they're going to be going out towards the border. So that's how you're going to loop the zigzags back. So you're going to go up to the next one and you're going to loop this back to itself towards the border, back to itself, next one up, back to itself, back to itself. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. A little bit bass backwards. So we're going to go into this um, fourth pin bar uh, third peg up and we're going to grab that band that's going to go straight up and down and bring this one down. Okay, then we're going to go back into there, get the next band on top and we're going to bring it back to itself, the next one back to itself. Then we're going to go up to the next peg, if you remember, back to itself, back to itself. We're always going to work on this pin bar always bringing them back to the border. So then the next one will go up here, grab that top band. Oops, can I not get that? It's not working for me, is it? Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. These beaded bands that are hooked to these, you gotta make sure you go up underneath them to grab, which, cause if, well, I think it's self-explanatory because the silver, the metallic bands are up underneath the beaded bands. But if for some reason you choose to do all the same color, you have to make sure that you're getting the proper bands. Um, even though you don't see the white all that much, or at least that's what it looked like on hers, um, you didn't really see these triangle bands as much. You just still want to make sure that um, you're grabbing them from, un they're going to be underneath the beaded bands. Okay, so we'll go into this peg and grab that top band, bring it back to itself, grab an X band. So always working from this pin bar out to the border, always working from this pin bar out to the border. Okay, finish that all the way up. Okay, so We've done all the silver bands going up. Now we've got to work on the white bands, which are up underneath the silver bands now. Um, and basically, they're going to go get put back to themselves. I'm going to get four more bands because we need to put cat bands on the first two and the last two pegs. So triple cat band here, here. here and here okay now basically we're going to put these white bands back to themselves so I'm going to go in through here and pick up this triangle here and we're going to bring it back to itself so i'm going to pull it just slightly oh not so slightly that it <laughs> came right off let me put that triple cat band back on yep so i guess on that first one you kind of just need to hold it maybe it has something to do with the way that i'm doing it come on Oh, <laughs> let me put you back on the pig. Mess that up. Okay, so this is a little confusing. I don't, just in this one spot. But basically we're going to, we're going to grab these white bands, which are up underneath these silver ones now. Okay, so this is the one that's on top. And then this one here is the other triangle. So we're going to go into here and get the one that's on top. So we're going to go in and you have to go in through this silver band to go in through the cat band and the silver band and grab the one, give it a slight pull and pull it, put it back to itself. Okay. The part that's a little odd 
is when, okay, let me just show you this one. So then the next triangle is this one. So we're going to have to go in from here. Go in through the cat band and the silver band. Grab that top band. Give it a slight pull. Put it back to itself. Okay. Now I need to do this triangle again. So we're going to go in through here. But as I'm trying to do that, I see that it's already been caught somewhere. But we still got to get it. Okay. We're just going to get it. So we're going to go in through here and we're just going to find this band right here. Okay. And it's already hooked. I'm going to go in from the side and get that band. Well, okay, I'm going to grab this band. See how it's hooked? It's, it's, um, it's already attached right there, but I'm going to grab it. I don't know why it's doing that, but, you know, for whatever reason, I'm going to grab it. It was hard to get, so pay attention. And now I'm going to bring it back to itself, okay? Now, I think all the rest of the way up, it's going to be okay. So we're going to go down back to this one, go in through all those bands, and get the triangle that's this triangle right here. So you're going to go in. It's hard for me to see. Okay, I'm going to go, go in and grab this band and bring it back to itself. Now we're going to go in and grab this, this triangle, which is this band right here. Okay, we're going to go in, grab that band, and bring it back to itself. I think this was the only one we had trouble with that was already caught for whatever reason. It should be fairly simple to get the right band as you're going the rest of the way up. Okay, now that we did this triangle, now we've got to do this triangle. So we're going to go in through this pig. We're going to grab and do like that. Go into this one. Like that. Go into here. Go into this one. Get that white band. And do that the entire way up the loom. Now on this side, we're going to go in through here up underneath this silver band and the cat band and bring it back to itself because that's the band that's on top. Okay, and then we're going to go do this triangle here. So we're going to come over here and grab that and bring it over like that. Now we're going to go in and do this triangle, be right here. It, it's caught, so it's going to look a little strange, but I think it's only going to look strange from right here. I think the rest of the way up, it'll be just fine. Okay, let me uh, show you the next one. So now that we've done the one that's going this way, we got to do the one that's going that way. So that we got to go into this peg, grab that white band, and bring it back to itself. Come over here and do this triangle. Grab that white band. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's so much easier to see now that we pass that first go round. Okay. Oops, make sure I'm getting this one. And then this one. So it's easy to see now. But you're going to do that the entire way up the loom. Okay, so once you get that completed all the way to the end, we're just doing the border. So we're going to go in through the cat band, go out to the left twice. And then we're just going to go straight up like normal till you get to the end. So on this side, we're going to go to the right twice. And then also go straight up. Okay, oops. Okay, and follow that all the way to the top till you get to the center, and then meet me up there with a C clip and a band, and we'll take it off the loom. Okay, I'm done there. Came up to the top. Now, all we're going to do is get a band, go in through the center, put it on your hook, bring it up over and around, and there we go. Now I'm going to stop off and grab me a C clip somewhere. My goodness, I don't know where my C-clips are. So, I guess, actually I just found one. 
Talk about being prepared, huh? Okay, so I'm going to put a C-clip right on the hook. Take it off. Okay, so basically it looks like it's all looped up pretty well. Like it's all going to stick together, not fall apart. So basically you can go through and loosen the tension on the sides. You know what, I would loosen the center too. Or you could just not even bother loosening the tension on the side. Let me just do this one like I did up over here. Got to be real careful. There's a lot of bands on there. Or you can just, just start taking it off of all of the pegs all at once. Just, just like so, all the way up. So however you feel comfortable, but that's what I'm going to do. It seems to be easier for me. So, Okay, I'll meet you back when I get it off the loom. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I fixed my bands. Very, very pretty. I just want to get these to where they're laying properly, to where they're even. But this is what it looks like. Pretty darn cool. And perfect fit. See that? Perfect, perfect. So this is the Lady in Red bracelet, or shall I say black, because that's the majority of what I use. No, but it's called the Lady in Red bracelet. This is the back, and I um, hope you decide to give one a try, and if you do, if you could tag and hashtag us both. This is designed by Craze Mama, and... Um, Give her a follow. That'd be super, super awesome. Her very first design. And I. she said she was inspired by my Elizabeth bracelet. But, you know, this is slightly, it's slightly different. Well, I mean slightly. I'm talking about, she's talking about the center bands. It's it's a little different. Um, the only difference is, I think, is that, um, well, there's not really any difference, I don't think, in these bands because, uh um, they don't get looped. I guess that's maybe where the similarity, but on this design, this kind of lays up and above. So it's kind of neat how these sides do. Now, I think that's only if you decide to use a bead that has two holes like mine. It probably won't sit up like this on the side if you don't. But it's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so proud of her. She did a, such a fabulous job. I'm so glad that she was able to make, create a design of her very own, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you decide to make one, and um, yeah. Okay, until the next tutorial, you take care. Bye-bye.